comment, tell me what you think is going to happen. Subscribe, ring the little bell thing so you get a notification when I post the follow-up video to this. I'm excited to see what happens. Hey, South for Tom's Tunes. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, so I finally went and did it. What we have here is a marine grade plywood. I bought it at Menards. I forget who makes it, Roseburg or something is what it said on, online. The company is Roseburg, and I did reach out and ask some questions about that product. Hopefully I'll hear back and I can report back to you about what they say for use on a pontoon boat. And then I have CCA treated. This is Inwood Ply Inland Plywood Company. This is marine grade treated. So what we have the differences here is this is, you can see the color difference. This is what some people call green wood. It's treated against insects and rot. It's a BC sand. So we have a B side, which is kind of a rough sand, but your big voids are gonna be filled. No glue spots like this or the footballs. The bottom side is a C sand, which basically is just a raw plywood. This marine grade untreated plywood is a A, so it's real smooth, no voids. You can see the plugs that they put in. It's an A side and a B side. So the bottom side of this is still really nice and pretty, but this is untreated versus treated. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rip off just a piece of this because it's still a $140 sheet of plywood. I'm gonna soak part of it for 30 days straight. The other part we're gonna dunk for five minutes a day and I'm gonna do the same thing with the CCA treated. And we're just gonna find out what the difference is, how it holds up from what I'm told. This has water resistant or waterproof glue and there's no air pockets in between the layers of ply. I want to see if this holds up as well as the treated. Big difference, the treated is the same stuff. This is from pontoonstuff.com. You can buy it there, they'll ship it to your house. It's the same stuff that goes on the, the pontoon manufacturer's boats that give a lifetime deck warranty. That's right, they know it's gonna last 20, 30 plus years. So that's what we put on every boat, but I wanna see there's everybody on the internet has their own opinion. You see a lot of people using this wood without sealing it or anything. I want to see how it holds up. That's what we're doing. This is day one. We've got our marine grade untreated. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layer ply. This is six layer treated marine grade ply. Our buckets, orange is going to be untreated. Blue is going to be treated. And we've got some weight. So I am going to sink this first one down to the bottom. It floats for scientific purposes, but we're gonna put a weight on that. And we're just gonna sink it to the bottom. Our other one also floats. We're gonna sink that one to the bottom. Pretty buoyant stuff. Our other pieces, what I'm gonna do daily is I'm gonna dunk them for about five, well, we'll set a timer making this scientific, five minutes uh, to submerge them and then we'll let them, we'll just sit them out here to dry the rest of the time. So I am gonna submerge these for five minutes and then I'll pull them out. This is video one. You gotta go subscribe, comment below. Tell me what you think is gonna happen to each board. I'd love to hear your guess because what we're gonna do in 30 days, what's the date today, Marty? Is it the third? Today is the third. February 3rd, 2023, in 30 days or on March 3rd, I'm gonna pull these out and we're gonna do a video to review everything. I'll tell you what happened each day when I dunked them, if I saw any changes over time, and we'll look at our submerged pieces for 30 days. If I have to add water to this, I will. There's nothing caustic, nothing getting in. These buckets were rinsed out, so just to eliminate that. But comment, tell me what you think's gonna happen. Subscribe, ring the little bell thing, so you get a notification when I post the follow-up video to this. I'm excited to see what happens. My thought, this is gonna slowly delaminate. We're gonna get some bubbling and some bloating of the wood. This one, I'm pretty sure it's just gonna look just like this after 30 days of being submerged. I don't know, I haven't done this yet, so we're gonna find out together. Five minutes seemed too short, so I went 30 minutes. That's what we're gonna do each day. We're gonna go ahead and pull, I wrote daily. So that got it good and submerged for 30 minutes. And then it's just gonna rest here. Um, we'll keep it out of the water. 
Same thing with this one, daily. And we'll set that here. And we're just gonna let those dry and we'll come back each day and do the same thing over again.